you're watching Celtic Fans TV, please don't forget to click subscribe below. Big one today, mate. Um, 16 points clear, would you make of that day? I, I thought it was actually quite good. Um, five goals, Griffiths with a hat trick, it's, it's great if you see. Um, the two up front is, since the winter breaks definitely helped us. We've scored so many goals, I don't know if that's maybe about 34, 35 goals we've scored. And since we came back, we're just absolutely obliterating team, so I definitely buzzing. It was absolutely fantastic for uh, performance today, Paul. Just uh, very, very professional and five very well taken goals. So, yes, can't complain. Yeah, other than the first 10 minutes, it was a really, really good performance. Um, full control of the game. Um, loads, of good, loads of good players today. In fact, I don't, I don't think there was a player that played badly. Taylor at times struggled a little bit, but other than that, everybody was really, really good to a man. So, good, good team performance. Sometimes these games can be a bit flat, but it was quite the opposite. Uh, really, really pleased. Great, yeah, I thought um, I thought that Munker handled the same really well in the first half, but with the boys come into it, um, once we get the third goal, I thought the kind of floodgates kind of open. so yeah, really happy with the performance. How good did it see Lee Griffiths back, hat trick today, superb in it? Just especially when people are shouting that he's not going to play football anymore, well, he's the one that's scoring goals and somebody else has the score at all this year, so it just shows you that we're, uh, we're definitely stepped up and part of the other teams have just faded away and it's 16 points clear. It's ridiculous. You know what, it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, we all know um, the problems he's had um, in the past and he's, just, he's come back, he's answered his critics, he's, he's scored a lot of goals um, so far in 2020. So yeah, it's absolutely great. Long may it continue. Uh, delighted. I mean, there's, there's been loads of chat on social media about the defence being a bit ropey and but to accommodate Lee Griffiths, we need, we need, to, we need to go with a 3-5-2 and we just need to accept um, with a 3-5-2 sometimes, you know, we're going to be a little bit exposed at the back and I think if I've done my maths right, I think that's now the, the, the turn of the year, 2020, 40 goals and 7 against. But far too much been said about the defence being ropey, I can just accept that they're actually quite an attacking three as well, so we'll have to keep that going. Griffiths, you know, the, the benefit we get up front is far greater than the occasional um, disadvantage at the back, so delighted to see him doing well. Maybe even Griffith himself, maybe before they, maybe when they get back to the, those same levels that we know he can do, but just to see him back and to see him scoring, and it's a terrific hat-trick again today and a really good performance from him and deservedly man of the match. That partnership with Edward as well, Edward sets him up for his first goal, he sets Edward up for his, it's working really well, isn't it? Uh, it definitely is, I think in the 3-5-2, the I think Rogic probably suits it better than uh, Christie does, where Rogic seems to just get into, I think he's got a better pass than Christie, so he can find that, that needle-eye pass where well, you've seen it in the first half with Griffiths and he just didn't latch onto it but that for the second goal with Griffiths that little touch he actually lets the ball hit off him he doesn't even really take a touch he just lets some cushions it into him and what a finish it is so uh, it's the two of them are working the Edwards he's just you, you've seen him when he came off everybody's just in kind of like an order of him we're just thinking oh what a player and you know he's not going to be here long so it's kind of enjoy it while he lasts because you're not going to see great players like that for, for much longer yeah I know it's, um, it's, it's absolutely great I mean probably the um, Look at some of the great partnerships we've had over the years, um, Larson and Sutton, even Gary Hooper and uh, Anthony Stokes. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's great to see the two strikers up front. They, they combine terrifically with each other, they complement each other very well, I think. you know, And, and when Edward doesn't he maybe scoring the, as many goals as of late, you know, is, is he, you always kind of focus on his contribution, is he contributing to the team. He's providing an assist for Griffiths' first goal, and I think is, the, the, the general play together is really, really good and very effective for the team. So it's a, it's a brilliant partnership. Third start in a row for Beaton, mate. Um, what have you made of him sticking back into the team? Yeah, he's, do you know what, he's, he's done already actually, he's, you can't it's a player that you probably don't moan at but you don't think, oh brilliant, he's just, he, he gets along, he's just one of the players, that score, he's a good score player that they have, um, but I, I think it's maybe, in some games I think Celtic would maybe get punished if it was a little bit better quality at times, just I think that we should have got our centre back and I think everybody does, sometimes, the last couple of games Julian's looked a bit tired, he's the only player since who we've signed the summer that hasn't had a break, everybody is, is getting a break, you look at ball and goalie, had a, some amount of time off, a lot of players get it but Julian doesn't, he's always the one and I think not getting a centre back in has kind of punished him a little bit on uh, on Wednesday, he, he struggled big time but again to, today, he was alright, he kind of coasted through it but I think um, we should have got another centre back in, so Beaton comes in, he does a job for you, he does it in the league eye where if you're looking at Europe that's why we should have went and got somebody else to, to step up when somebody's not having a great game or somebody's not having confidence, somebody could step in like somebody like a Benkovic or something like that, he could have known the club and come in so that's probably the only downfall, the only one down what I could say is probably could have gone but to be honest, I don't care, it's now and I know it's coming, we all know it's coming. I thought he played well, I thought he played a lot better than our night there so hopefully he sticks to the 3-5-2 come next week. I really like him and I know loads of people laughing here when we say this, he's not, he's not Van Dijk but he's, he's like Van Dijk as and nothing, nothing phases him. He's good with the ball, he's a midfielder isn't he? So he's really composed and he does different things, he's not predictable, uh, he never panics, We've seen a bit, I've seen a bit of panicking with some one or two of the defenders but he never ever panics, I like him a lot. Um, 
he would maybe even be my first choice in defence. Gen generally, I like him that much. I remember Chris Sutton went back and played at the back, and he's that type of, you know, everything's almost done at a wee bit of slower pace, but he, he's never, ever under pressure. So, um, didn't do great during the week, but today he was brilliant. Today he was really good, one of, one of the best players, I thought. I think he, I think he's looked comfortable, to be honest with you. I don't think he's really kind of put a foot wrong. Um, obviously, Yozo is no, it can be a wee bit. Uncertainty and uncertain in terms of his fitness and all the rest of it, but I think generally Beaton has done pretty well. He seems very assured and composed, and he seems to be doing his defensive work pretty well. So yeah, I think he's been okay. Can you believe we had December finished? It was seventh of March. Seventh of March, sixteen points clear. Nah, it's. Uh, I think a lot of people expecting the 29th after that result is uh, it's going to go the, the the full distance, and it's. I mean, people can say that people have slipped up or whatever. Or I didn't mean to say slipped up there, but. Uh, I think Celtic have stepped up rather than people have slipped up, you know, Celtic have really stepped up and went, you know what, we're just going to keep getting result after result. So some results haven't been great and it's not been a great performance, but it doesn't matter, it's three points, it's, it's the crucial time of the season. Well, I don't really matter how we play, get the three points, I don't care, it's all about August, September, October's all fancy football, show what you've got, when it comes to February, March, it's all about winning, that's all you've got to do. No. Definitely not. I thought it was going to go right to the wire, and I mean that, and I thought we were in, in a real dog fight. but listen, I'd rather have it this way. Well, here we go, eh? Uh, and that's what you want. And uh, being in March, and I reckon an air, well, you've got an air three games there, eh? Just, eh? Next Sunday against the Rangers. I think the season will be finished for, for that, eh? After next Sunday, eh? Do you go 3 5 2 for the start next week? Oh, aye, 3 5 2. I put Golton on on his toes, man, off. So, uh, he's a he's a clown. So I definitely have Edward against uh, and Griffiths up against him. Definitely, 100%. Aye. I don't think, I mean, being at Ibox the last few years and being totally frustrated with it, uh, but, you know, back to Rogers and some of the decisions he made with Mikey Johnston and just really, really That's bizarre okay. teams that we've picked at yeah. Ibox. So I'm hoping we get it right next week. I mean, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you stick with 3 5 2? I doubt we will. Um, I wouldn't put money on it, but I think we should because. You know that hunger they showed the last time when we beat them. We, we need that again. We need we need to be hungry. We need to be forward thinking. We need to be winning the setting balls. Um, we didn't do that two or three games before the last one, and, that, and that's why we lost. Um, but if we can show that same hunger and desire to win the setting ball and be attack minded, um, we have nothing to fear next week. I mean they're in they're in big big trouble. That's that's a bad side, isn't it? And low in confidence. So we're not going to take advantage of that. We've got to go three five two because that's that's the way we've been playing and that's the way Neil Lennon sees a good formation. And if you've got that formation and it works, why change it? Why change it yeah, here? Actually, I would. I mean, this is something I actually have debated with my friends over the last few weeks. And a few a few weeks ago, I probably would have gone with probably with a four one uh, a four one three two. But we consider how vulnerable Rangers are. I think this is a, this is a um, next week and really um, we can finish them off for good. So yeah, I would go with a, a three five two next week. Uh, who's your man of the match today? Uh, there's a, there was a number, I thought Edward early doors, I mean, some of his trickery again today and his magic and composure on the ball and he's setting up Griffiths for that first goal was a absolutely sublime um, pass. Uh, Roger was good today, Beaton was good, but it has to be Griff. He's absolutely, I'm delighted for the wee man. Um, I'm from Edinburgh myself and I love him to death, so I couldn't be happier, so it's Lee Griffiths for me, yeah. Oh, Lee Griff, oh, Lee Griff, <laughs> absolutely Lee Griff, it's all day long. Uh, you probably get a graph. I just with the three goals. Uh, I thought uh, McGregor was brilliant again. I just he, there's, there's never a game where you think, oh, you're off it. He's just always going. He's he does such a great job, and uh, I think he goes. Um, a lot of people just don't see it, but he just seems to move the ball, shifts it. And there was one point he had three players on him, and he get out it, and he and then uh, played in Taylor. And I thought he's just he's always cool under pressure. He's always calm under the ball. So I'd probably go him. I definitely. I to me. Me Griffin's been absolutely brilliant, but yeah, see for the last three years, I'm going to see V Forest eh, and he's he's my man in the match, eh, and I'm di I'm dying to eh, meet him eh, and tell him that. Eh. Oh, <laughs>